Hello YouTube, this is Trigoli from Nice Than Never, and here I'm bringing something that's not related to Minecraft. Uh, I've been making a lot of Minecraft videos lately, I haven't made like an old-fashioned commentary in a while, so I just want to make something a bit different, something that's not just about Minecraft redstone tutorials. Um, but here I'm bringing some Homefront gameplay, and I don't know if you know this game, it came out some time ago, I just got into this game very late. Um, I won a contest with Puck Gaming and it took a very, very long time for the game to arrive at my door. And I didn't want to buy, I didn't want to buy the game earlier because I found out about the contest. So I wanted to see if I, I had won it first and I did. And the game fi finally arrived like maybe one and a half week, weeks ago or something. Um, but I'm really, I've really, in, I'm really enjoying this game. Um, it's very, very cool. It, it something that I remember reading about and hearing about a lot of guys talked about how the graphics were like in 2007 like they were really really bad so I was expecting like I was expecting something not that Minecraft graphics are like horrible or anything but I was expecting something more or less like Minecraft graphics or s something like that um, but to be honest I got a bit surprised because the graphics, I mean, they're not horrible. I mean, I don't get why people say they're so bad. I think they look pretty good. I mean, to me, they look as good as, like, Call of Duty Black Ops, at least at some of the different settings that I run the games at. Um, of course, I play on the PC, so we change our settings around to what sounds the best, or what, no, not what sounds the best, but what looks the best on, on the game, like, what runs best, too, so kind of have to find the middle point of what runs best and what looks the best. Um, but I was pretty surprised about the graphics. I thought they were going to be horrible, but they are pretty good. I, I enjoy them. I think they're at least fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, and also, one thing I noticed after playing for a little bit, the hit detection, there's something... Mm, it's hard to explain, but there's something... That's a bit weird about the hit detection. Um, it seems like you try to shoot a guy, he's laying down somewhere, you shoot the guy, you have your crossers right on the target, and like you're making very accurate shots, you're doing small bursts, you're doing what you're supposed to do, but you're not hitting anything. I mean, the hit detection seems very, very bad to say, to say like straightforward. It seems very, very bad. And one thing I thought of, I don't, I think there are some places in this gameplay where I, where there's some bad hit detection, but one of the games where I was not recording, um, this is just like the first recorded game I had, but another game where it didn't record, for some reason I was, I was using the same gun as I am in the end of this match, which is the SCAR Assault Rifle, there's a SCAR like machine gun and a SCAR Assault Rifle in this game, I think it's the SCAR L that's the Assault Rifle, but it doesn't matter. I was using that, and it's a three-round burster, so I there's like lots of guys coming towards me, so I need to get them down fast. And I shoot towards one of them. I don't hit anything. I don't hit him. I keep shooting him. I try to shoot a bit in front of him. He doesn't. I don't hit him. And then he runs behind some cover. So I start going for another guy. He's this guy's laying down. The other one was running across the field. I start shooting at him. I don't hit anything. He goes behind cover. I shoot again. Shoot another guy. I think I get one hit marker. But then they all like every. Those four or five people that were over there were shooting at. They turned to me, and they all fired me at the same time. They just run for cover, and I don't have time to try and shoot anymore. But th that was just weird. I Because earlier in that game, I was doing awesome. I, had, I think I had the best score there. I think before I died the first time, I maybe got like 10 kills or something, which is a lot for me in this game since I'm still pretty new. But... I was doing very good, and then suddenly I couldn't hit a thing. It was very, very awkward. But, I don't know. I, I went into cover, and when I got back up, then suddenly I did okay again. There wasn't that many problems with hit detection the rest of the game. There was just those few, like, 30 seconds. Maybe it was a minute or something. I don't know how long I sat. I was there trying to shoot at those guys, but I didn't hit anything. It just seemed very weird because I don't remember my accuracy being that much off when I was at that point. Maybe I was just doing horrible. Maybe my eyes were like not coordinated. So maybe one eye was looking at the wall for some reason and the other one was looking at the screen so I couldn't see where it was pointing at. I have no idea. Um, 
but the hit detection overall just seems pretty weird at some points, but mostly it's okay, but it could easily have been better. And one thing I noticed, and I've seen people talk about, is that you can't shoot through walls, you can't hit anyone through a wall, even how thin the wall seems to be, or a little piece you want to shoot through, even though it seems like it's only a quarter of a millimeter thick, you can't shoot through it. It's very weird, I don't know why they didn't improve on that, maybe... It was a design choice, I have no idea. Uh, one thing you might be seeing when there pops up like these messages when I kill someone, ca capture something, um, there's something called battle points in this game, and it's something that I actually really, really enjoy. Um, basically, battle points, you both get, when you do something in the game, kill someone, assist killing someone, capture something, maybe you destroy a target, um, you get these you both get experience and battle points, and the experience is pretty self-explanatory, but the ex ex battle points, sorry, the battle points, you can use those, they only last for that single game, so when we go into the next game, you start off with the default, which I think is like 500 battle points. Whenever you start a game, you have 500, and when you do something in the, that game, you get extra points. But with those points, you can either use them to some abilities that you have, you can see right, in, I think it's the bottom right corner of the screen, you can see... Uh, depends on what kit I'm using. I think you can see like a guy wearing some kind of jacket. I think it's flak jacket and a drone. Those are like the when playing points or, or abilities I can use, and they both cost an amount of battle points. I think the flak jacket costs maybe 250, and I think the droid or the drone is a bit less. I'm gonna go more to the drones later. Um, but whenever I'm playing, I'm running around. Maybe I just get enough points for the drone, I can use it instantly, I don't have to do anything special, just click a button, boom, I have my drone. Uh, but you can also, whenever you die, you get this menu where you can choose your kit, but you can also choose how you want to spawn. If you want to spawn as infantry, in a team vehicle, you can spawn as different vehicles, you can see numbers on the side, that's how many battle points you need to spawn in that vehicle. I think at one point actually I spawned inside a chopper, which costs like... 1,600 points. I was just really angry at the other chopper flying around. It was just destroying everyone. It was goddamn annoying. Um, but I spawned that chopper, and I think I, I think I take it down. But that's what you can use battle points for. You can use them for buying upgrades, like small in-game upgrades, drones, vehicles, airstrikes, missile, like rocket launchers. Um, and then when you die, you can, sp you can spawn in a vehicle. You can, like use the points for a vehicle. Um, and that's one other thing. The vehicles in this game, there's something odd about them. I've been playing some I've been playing Battlefield, Bad Company 2, and other games that use vehicles, and there it's very easy to drive, they're easy to control. Like in a chopper in Bad Company 2, I can e I can more easily find fa fly <laughs> sorry, fly a chopper in Bad Company 2 than I can in this game. For some reason I have I, it's hard to fly in this game, or hard to control any vehicle in this game. At least for me, I have a hard time adjusting to these con to how this controls. For some reason, the choppers when I fly around just and flying around in circles, going up and down and ending hitting a wall, hitting a building. I have no idea how to control these things. It's so awkward. Going from something like Bad Company to where I can at least fly the chopper like okay to something like Homefront where I have no control over my chopper at all. I have no idea how people can fly a chopper in this game so well as they do because I can't. Um, there are some vehicles that I think are easy to control and that's the drones. The drones are amazing. It's the best addition to a first person shooter I've ever seen. I'm loving, I'm loving the drones. It's like the best addition to this game in my opinion. The, when I was playing alone, like, some time ago, I think it was at the beginning of this week, um, I was playing a few games, I was having a lot of fun, I played for a few hours, and I was playing a ground control game, which is kind of like a conquest type mode, if you're playing Battlefield, or a domination type mode, if you play Call of Duty, but the thing is, when you have these drones, there was like a point that we need to capture. My team was keep kept running in and they died. Another one ran in, they died. Two people ran in, they died. And in the end, they were just standing out there waiting for the people to come to them. But what I did is I ran 
close to the door, as close as I could get, into went into cover, and spawned a drone. I got the drone in and killed all of them in there. I think there were like three people or something in there. I kill all of them. I drive my drone over to the end of the other door. It's like kind of a hallway type room. I drive my drone to the other part so it can like act as a bit of cover and someone's coming in. I go away from the drone. I think it stays there for maybe 10 seconds or something. Then it explodes maybe only 5 seconds. Um, but then I go out. I rush into the room, find a good cover spot, and then I just stay there and I capture the thing by myself. My team had no idea what the fuck was going on. There's, they were still camping over there. I think they might have thought I would go in there and die. I don't know. But it was the coolest game ever. It was the best game I've ever had in a long time. Like, I think that was the best home front game I had. We, it was a very, very close battle, and both teams did pretty well. Although at some points I felt like my team wasn't doing that good. I, like, in the beginning of one match, I went in and I captured two whole points and I I died. My team, I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're just sitting in a corner jerking off because the other team, within a few seconds, they had captured both of those points and my team didn't do anything. They were trying to capture the second, the last point, like the third point, instead of trying to defend the ones that I fight it for I gave my life to get those get those two points but my team was just assholes I had no idea what was going on but in the end they turned out to be an okay team thing they understood that it was not team deathmatch or whatever they were thinking um, but we it ended up being a close match like in this game something I actually forgot to say you might have noticed I think you had like after 20 seconds or so of gameplay um, there's like a cut and it's because in this game you use Z to lay down on the keyboard and the button right next to Z is the one I use to start and stop my recordings. So like after those 20 seconds I laid down thing was when I tried to get back up. I clicked the wrong button and then right afterwards I my brain found out like my unconsciousness find out found out that I pressed the wrong button but it pressed the right button so I stood back up but it didn't start recording again so I think it's like two minutes of gameplay that I missed it's a bit annoying but there's really not that much I can do about it so sorry <laughs> but uh, I think the game's coming to an end here so thank you for watching remember to follow me on Twitter join my Steam group if you want to contact me play with me need some help with anything um, contact me on Steam, just send me a message through the Steam group. Do you don't need to add me as a friend, you can send me a message through the Steam group. Friend thingy. Uh, also remember to tune in for my live streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sometimes they might not be there, um, but it's because there's some family stuff that come in the way. I'm very sorry about that, but I try to get the live streams going. Um, there are 9 p.m. Danish time. If you don't know what that is, when you live, just search for online time convert on Google. You can easily find a website that can convert the time for you. Very easy and fast. <sighs> so thank you for watching and take care.